one of the most important applications of compound interest involves loans that are paid off in installments over time. This video will show you how to compute the monthly installment, the yearly, and a demonstration with Casual Financial Consultant FC200B. We will use an example to illustrate. If you borrow $10,000 from the bank at 6% annual interest rate for 6 months, what is your monthly installment? We assume that interest is compounded monthly based on the balance at the beginning of the month. To understand the solutions, you must understand the time value of money. Assume you have $10 now and you can buy 3 hamburgers now using your $10. But if you have $10, 10 years later, you probably can buy only 2 hamburgers then. So the value of $10 10 years later is much less than the $10 now, which is just two-thirds of value of present $10. This value is also called the present value of $10 received 10 years later. Back to the problem. Initially, $10,000 is deposited into your bank account, so the cash flow is positive. The monthly interest rate is I% percent, which is 6% over 12 or 0.5% which is 0 0.005. The same interest rate is applied to the second month and the rest of the month. The interest is computed based on balance at the beginning of the month. The first installment, PMT1, is paid at the end of first month. Note that this PMT1 is negative since the cash flow is negative. Similarly, the second installment, PMT2, is paid at the end of second month. Again, this is also negative. We assume all monthly payments are equal. That means PMT1 is equal to PMT2 all the way to PMT6. Let's call this PMT. What is the present value of PMT1? Let's call this PV sub 1 because the interest is compounded over one period. So PV sub 1 times 1 plus I percent must be equal to PMT1. That means that PV sub 1 equal to PMT1 over 1 plus I percent, which is equal to PMT over 1.005. What is the present value of PMT2? Let's call this PV sub 2. Because the interest is compounded over 2 period, so PV sub 2 times 1 plus I percent square is equal to PMT2. That means PV sub 2 is equal to PMT2 over 1 plus I percent square. And finally, this is equal to PMT over 1.005 square. Using the similar argument, we can know that the present value of PMT3 is equal to PV sub 3 equal to PMT over 1.005 power 3. 
in order to pay back the loan of $10,000 in six months, $10,000 must be equal to sum of all this present value. That means that $10,000 must be equal to PMT over 1.005 plus PMT over 1.005 square all the way to PMT over 1.005 power 6. We can rewrite this in a summation notation. 10,000 is equal to summation of PMT over 1.005 power x, where x equal to 1 to 6. This means that PMT is equal to $10,000 over summation of 1 over 1.005 power x for x from 1 to 6. We can also use a scientific calculator to calculate the money installment, which is equal to fraction $10,000 over summation of 1 over open packet 1.005 power x with x from 1 to 6 then press equal so the monthly installment is $1,695.95 if you have a casual financial calculator this is how you do it first you press CMP Lee for compound interest then let's go to N the number of payment which is 6 and the annual interest rate is 6% and the present value is $10,000 and the money payment we don't know yet we're going to find the future value is zero number of payment per year is 12 This is the monthly payment. Number of times the interest compounded is also 12. Since the interest is compounded at the beginning of each month. Now, move the cursor back to PMT, monthly payment, and then press solve. So, every month, we need to pay $1,695.95 You can verify that this calculation is correct For example, at the end of first month Initially, you have $10,000 plus the interest minus the monthly payment At the end, the balance is $8,354.10 Repeat this calculation, you'll find that at the end of six months, the loan is paid off.